Who's here? Right. Right there. Who's here? 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 Who's Boom, I get my grip together. Yeah. Now it's gonna be hard if I'm just cranking, but well, watch this. I got my, my, my double wrist lock. And guys, yes, yeah, some jujitsu guys say no thumbs. I don't care, I grab with thumbs because people are sweating. Okay. Now, I'm gonna rock him. I call this the rocking chair. Double wrist lock, rocker Kimura, rocker double wrist lock. I rock him and I put it down. I rock him and I put him down. Lift his weight up. I put it down. Does that seem like I'm powering him? Oh, you tell me you're just power, dude. No. So, I lock up my the worst lock, my Kimura, and instead of making one big power pose that you see people try, we're going the leg over the head, which I always see people get rolled. Just lift and put his hand behind his back. Lift, put his hand behind his back. He tapped on the first one. Second, but everyone taps on number three when I do it for real, typically. Just lift, 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 and they submit themselves to gravity on the way back down. Does that make sense? Yeah? Dan, come here. I pin it to the ground with my shoulder, I make it here, and now I choke it up, and I can't even work it, and I finally get a grip. Oh. Now do I want to make some big old ah, jerky motion? No. Just rock, lift, put him back down. Rock, lift, put him back down. Rock, lift, put him back down. Rock, lift, and he's about to break. Hands to the back of the head. That would have been a good time attack. Yeah. <laughs> then do one more thing here. So is that simple enough? You can get it, right? Rock him, put it behind his back. Rock him, put it behind his back. And the third one, if you really jerk, 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 it's gonna be way back here. He's gonna tap as his weight came back down. He might have hurt. He should have tapped. Pay attention, guys. No, see, you gotta feel your own ligaments as they get stretched. The other battle for a double wrist lock is him grabbing inside his own leg, grabbing his, his own shorts is allowed in MMA, or getting both hands together. Okay, you start to get a grip, he gets his grip, he grabs his shorts, he just hooks inside his head. So I'm starting to get him, but the fight's to get the hand to the mat. I gotta clear his hip. Okay, one thing I like to do is Kung Fu. Oops, see my Kung Fu? Tons out because I will chuck my butt off. Yeah. Okay, so here. Now watch this. The problem is, uh, I'm stronger so I can do it, but if I was weaker, I can't do that. So I'm going to come here, 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 slide, rear naked, my arms, both of them. This is called a catch key lock. Now I got it to the ground. See that? Here he can't fight it. Boom, I dropped my weight. One more time. He's locked in. And here I can't beat this hit. Grab here. Wrap this up. Now I can drop my weight to beat the hand past the hip bone to the ground. Now I can let this go and grab one-handed. From one-handed grab, it now becomes a hammer lock. Okay, Phil Davis. Okay, over here. Let me position my weight. Make sure my base is good. And now I can power lift him. Power post. Take this to the back. Add it here. I can power post my left leg. Go here. That's the simplest way. Well, if I want to be super technical, lock up your half guard, or I just passed and broke you even worse. 
I triangle my own legs, and I pull my butt to his head, and I let him break himself. Okay? So two different technical ways of getting a core double wrist lock without muscle power in the half day. Yes, it's legit. Go to work. One, two, three. Boom. 